To make this headband, start with two low hollow strips. They should be quite long and at least 24 inches in length. They should also be at least a half an inch in width. Before weaving, your low hollow should have been already sitting in a container of water so that makes it more flexible and easier to work with. If you find that your low hollow is still a little too hard or stiff, just wet a rag or a paper towel and run it along the leaf. This will add even more moisture into the leaf and make it more pliable when you're starting to put everything together and weave everything into place. Once you feel that your leaf is flexible enough, you're going to make a V-shape with one of the strips about 45 degrees in angle. With your other strip of low hollow, take it and insert it into the V-shape you made with your last strip of low hollow. Now it should look like you have four strips of low hollow. With the very right low hollow strip, take it and fold it over into the very middle of the strips. Now with your very right low hollow strip, you're going to work left. Fold it over the very immediate strip of low hollow and under the very next low hollow strip. Switching sides, working from the left to the right, take your very left low hollow strip, fold it under the two very next strips closest to it, and over the very last strip on the right side. From the right, now you're going to fold under one, and over one. To tighten your pattern, gently pull at each strip. From the left, fold over two and under one. When you see that one of your strips are getting too short to weave with, simply grab another strip and insert it into the place of the one that's starting to become smaller. Once you've reached your desired length, snip off the excess. Then, cut your middle strips in a tapered fashion. This will help so that you can stick these strips into the already woven pattern you've made helping it to secure together and make your lip hole. Now take the other end of your lip hole and put it into the middle of both of these tapered strips. With one of your tapered strips, embed it into your molded milk column. On the outside, do the same thing that you did on the inside with the tapered strip. You may need to cut a little bit more off the taper end so that it can better fit into the little bit of hollow.
With the two side pieces, fold it onto the other end and stick it into a hole to now secure the lip hole into place. Do this with both the ends. Snip the excess end so that it can better fit into the holes. Once you're finished embedding the side pieces into your lip hole, your product should be finished.